places. One beer, one plan, and one couple bringing it to life. Steve Vesey reports. The plan all along for Penguin City Beer was to become iconic in Youngstown. What we wanted to create was a beer for our town, the go-to beer. This is our beer. Even the name seemed like a perfect fit. This wasn't a serious idea until this name came out. We both just kind of hit, hit us at once and we said it and we're like, yes, this is it. It felt old, it felt new, it, it felt Youngstown. But they both knew if people didn't like the beer itself, it wouldn't catch on. They kind of went against the grain a little. A lot of breweries around here pushed the envelope with new additions all the time. They just wanted one good beer that wasn't too out there, but wasn't a run-of-the-mill domestic either. So I wanted to bridge that gap and maintain a good flavor, but nothing too crazy for somebody who doesn't drink uh, you know, IPAs, stouts, porters, sours, or anything like that. Like every week people want to have something different and we're kind of fighting that in a way. Clearly it's an idea that's hit home with a lot of people around here. It's already being sold in more than a hundred places around the valley and that number seems like it grows just about every day. You go to Cleveland, they have their Dortmunders. You go to Pittsburgh, they have their Iron Cities. Now you come to Youngstown, you got Penguin City. You know, the name even represents what the city is, you know, with YSU Penguins. You know, it's, it's a great tie to the city. Um, you know, we've kept it on tap for a few months now. We just keep a dedicated handle to it. Uh, we got a great response with it. That's been the case in a lot of places. A list that's grown so fast, it's been hard to wrap their minds around it. We've been so busy that it's been hard to even take a step back and reflect. You know, we might have five minutes where, you know, we're, we're surprised and excited and, and all that, and then it's back to work. As for the future, there's a lot on the horizon. Right now they're brewing at Paladin, but they're also renovating a space at the old B&O station in Youngstown, expecting to move brewing operations there by April, which could open up.